This time on Weekend Rental, we try the one-on-one, -on -one, a basketball game slash fighting game only released in Japan from the Budget Simple series. Before we get started with reviews, we'll do a little bit of gameplay, but please do note the mix is kind of bad this week due to a technical issue. So if you want to skip ahead to reviews, the audio is better over there. What? Oh, here it is. Wow, they think it's that. Vincent Price. <laughs> one on one. It does spell out one. So I mean, there, there could be some ambiguity about what the name really is. Is it one one on one one? Which one's normal? Yeah, I'm a real gamer. The frame rate of those fingers is wigging me the fuck out. <laughs> You're like too fast. <laughs> Welcome to Kirin's Estate. Ready? Get off. Oh, this is great. Wow, that was a shot. Big bang! Ready? Keep on! Restart button. Yeah, I want to. Wait! Come on. <laughs> oh, you still have it? Rock! Ready? Keep on! Nice, you didn't support. Ready? There's a lot going on. Ready? Here. Keep on! A lot to take in. Uh. <laughs> I can't fucking Bang. score with this guy. Ready? Put it in the net. Wow. This looks like a random character generator. Ready? Tick off! Ready? Tick off! Wang. Ready? Tick off! My feet were off the ground. You definitely beat me. Mandy. Mandy. Mandy went. I wanted to. I wanted to try to get his Saru jump monkey hunting attack. Oh. What? what the fuck? Ready? You yeah, right. How did I get? Tra you traveled for me? <laughs> the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> Cherry pick no, rules are the best. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Mambe. 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 Mambe is done. Mambe clap. Mambe number five. Alright, you wanna try this again? Alright, let's try it. All right, hold on, hold one. on. Drop two. Oh, one one second. Okay, yeah. I take. Drop whatever. And then take. Oh, who am I? I don't know who I am. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I just removed it from Ready? my start menu because I was sick of it. Right. Um, Ready? This is the best version of the boys. <laughs> I want to see Brown first Shota. Oh, he's like, oh, it's just like, Ready? man. That was amazing. Graceful. Super graceful. Like a child. Shota wins. Damn. I 
watch a run Dang back of that. Damn. Yeah, big time. That, that was oh a good run. It's like seeing there scratching his skin mm. face. Welcome. Do again. How do you do the uh, cool make the camera change? Do a cool stick. trick dunk. Ready? Kick off. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, There's we'll specials on like down, down, up, up. Uh, 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 ready? Down, down, kick has, off. Uh, while you're stopped, you down, triple, triple back, and then Ready? Tip off. You gotta do close to the net. Down, quarter, circle, back. Down, quarter, circle, back. Ready? Tip off. Okay. Wait to be near the net. You were not near the net. You just made the dunk on air. Yeah, yeah. Did everyone miss when you were just like scooting up and then and then like fell? I didn't see it. I was just looking at the swag. Ready? Tick off! You also have a special called Sniper Shoot. Stay back! Ready? Sniper Shoot! When you release the down button and press. Oh, nice. Ready? Tick off! Release the down button. Release down button. Hold down, hold down, you kind of crouch. Ready? Tick off! Like if you hold down, well, if you hold down on the directional pad while well, you have the ball Ready, and crouch. Ship off. Does something. So it's, I guess it's saying when you're coming out of that. Ready, uh, like, off. A, like a charge move in Street Fighter. Yeah. Brown makes sure to touch grass. <laughs> cool, so this week we checked out a obscure PS1 game, a sports action game called The One-on-One. -on -One. And kicking us off, we're going to have Momo tell us what they thought of this one. What's up? Um, I did really like this game. Um, I think it's worth a try. If you are into weird fighting games, or maybe sports games. Um, the soundtrack, of course, is excellent because it's 90s house or whatever, like most 90s games are, you know, tracked by. And I, I don't know, I thought it was fun. I really think the developers of this were onto something maybe because it's like a fighting game experience with the strats of basketball. And like, I kind of just like love when developers or teams try to combine two things that may not necessarily go together just from like a curiosity standpoint I guess um, so yeah I really liked it I thought the characters were different enough you know felt felt like they were different characters and yeah I think it's worth renting worth checking out but um, how about you filter what did you think yeah, thanks. Um, you know, I agree with most of what you said. This is a definite, definite curiosity. It's kind of confounding. It's very idios idiosyncratic. It's a weird idea. It kind of works. The controls are where it falters the most, to where I can't like give it a resounding, yes, you should play this. But it's definitely something I would tell anybody to give a try if they, you know, like the the framework of a fighting game and have a remote interest in any kind of basketball game you know it's a no-brainer um there's really nothing like it which is kind of a shame because you could take this a lot further and have a, a really competent experience um but i agree man the the biggest uh thing i liked about it was the sound fa fantastic soundtrack but the sound effects were pretty bunk uh, so i had a three there um, all told, I would rent it again. I, I would definitely give it another go. Um, I wouldn't buy it necessarily or like you know, try to collect it, but it's one I would keep around and, and bring out for other friends. But uh, I'm curious to hear what Neosense has to think of, has to say about this game. 
Thanks for your curiosity filter. Uh, I think that this game is an absolute hoot. Uh, I gave it a meme with the crew. Uh, because you and your crew can have a good old-fashioned laugh to this. Uh, much like Momo and Filter, I, I'm very, very charmed by the uh, intersection of a fighting game type engine laid over top of the game, the, the great game of basketball. Uh, I found the execution to be a little more disappointing. This, this game was a two for me. But a strong, like, I had fun and would totally play this again, too. It's just too clunky. Uh, maybe if I played this uh, uh, on an arcade and there was a little moves list next to it and I could I could get down, uh, I might have had a little bit more fun. I like the music a lot, and I think that the game is genuinely fun. I just wish that the controls weren't as bad as they were. Uh, otherwise, yeah, the characters are cool, the game looks sick, and period, <laughs> it's a period piece for sure. And I think if, uh, everyone gets together, they could, uh, score with this one. But for now, I'm gonna pass the ball to Stove to see what he thought. Yeah, um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's neat. It's a super simple, fun as hell approximation of, uh, basketball. Um, it has a, a ball, a, sometimes a court, sometimes a hoop, sometimes the players are there, sometimes the world is not there. Um, but yeah, overall it feels like an early PS1 tech demo uh, where the developers went hog wild on some new hardware, attempting to rein it in, break it or control it. Um, it's broken kind of in the way that I personally like. It's frenetic, neat, bonkers as shit, and there aren't really many games like this, uh, especially now. Um, Working within the limitations of the hardware and, and most of the times outside of it, it's a mess, but it's cool. Um, it's worth, you know, sparing 15 minutes or so fumbling around in it and attempt to figure out what the actual intention was, either good or bad. Um, but yeah, it's a weird, it's a weird fighting game, not really quite a basketball game, but it is, uh, it is, it does have some magic on the blacktop or Scottish farm or rainforest or the, the fuck it takes you next. But, uh, yeah, had a decent time with it, but I'd be I'd be curious to see uh, you know what other people think on it. I'll finish up here. Um, I had high hopes for this one. Uh, obviously, I love all the other uh, sports taken to their extreme because we have technology now, uh, like uh, 2020 Super Baseball or Super Dodgeball or Wind Jammers. Those are kind of the other ones that come to mind. Um, but this one just felt so clunky compared to those, like, I feel like the other enhanced, sports enhanced by video games, games that I've played, uh, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of terrible ones as well, but, uh, this one really missed the mark for me. Um, the controls were just, you know, it, it was basically guesswork each round to see what your character would actually do. Um, I did manage to get some sweet dunks off once I, you know, figured out my way through it, but it just didn't, it just didn't all really come together for me. I think that the, uh, the weird fighting game angle that it took was ambitious, but it didn't really land. Um, it felt like they sort of handicapped the, the game, like I, I kind of wanted to just play basketball instead of these, uh, these rounds where you're going back and forth and back and forth. Anyway. Um, I gave it a 2, mostly because of the controls, the music was great, like others have said, and uh, it's definitely worth, you know, half an hour to an hour playing with your buddies just to see what all the characters are doing, watching a monkey man jump around and hang from the hoop by his tail, you know, some might say that it's worth it just for that, so for me it was 2 out of 5 Garfields. 